Okay, and here we are. We're going to be doing another tutorial. Um, this time I'm going to incorporate scissor over comb and the close techniques that are needed for that haircut. We're going to go with a one just on the nape and then we're going to graduate it up and then on the top we're going to layer it and creating a real movement and you can either wear it to the side or going back. The important point to note during the haircut is the crown movement because if we go too short this will just end up sticking up and if we go too long you'll create this bouffant at the back. So let's have a go. So what you've got to figure out is where to go with your one. Just below the occipital bone, just about there, that's where I'm going to go. Now the secret is to go in with the teeth with the one. So you've got your guard in and then you bring it to you. So it's almost like a C that you're doing. So you're bringing that to you. And once you've done that, so if I do it slowly, you lift the hair out of the way. And then we'll start working with the rest. Now before I start my scissor and comb, I like to take this section away which is really really heavy and I'm working away in sections so again the same technique using your teeth of your comb go in again like the C effect and you bring it out to you so you're probably thinking oh wow okay let's let's see how you're gonna do that so teeth go in as you can see that is my guideline now the teeth go in and I bring it round a bit like a scoop and a bit like a, a C so imagine a C that you're doing with that comb and then you graduate it in. Now the reason why I'm using clipper over comb technique just on the nape is because the hair is really really thick and it does save you that little bit of time and then we'll continue through with the scissor over comb in a while. So now the hair is wet and it's really important that you have wet hair. Um, why? It makes it just that little bit more softer to cut and you get a better cut. So we're going to section the top out of the way. So I tend to um, put the crown out of the way. Some use section clips and some don't. It's whatever you're happy with in order to work around the edges. So I'm generally going to start my scissor over comb at the back. I do a section where across the hair down so take it all the way down and then just put that in front of the ear so it just tucks away there it just makes it easier to work with and by spraying the hair if it falls down it actually keeps it in place so let's just show you that section by doing that you can put a lot of clips I find it time consuming so it's up to, to you how you want to section. So long as you do your sectioning, that's the important bit. Got to be nice and neat and out of the way. So that's that one. And that's what we want to see. Right, so then you lower the chin down, so there's a pull on the neck. And again, that's a really good technique to get used to doing. You just lower the chin down, that muscle at the back gets pulled. Then you put your teeth in, and again, it's that C sort of curvature, and then you go in. Now, it just looks like I'm randomly cutting hair, but the system is this. You've got your guideline just there, and you've got to meet that to the next bit. So I'll take the teeth in, there's the line that I cut previously, just below there. As it drops, I've got the next line to cut. And that's how I work my way to just below the occipital bone. Because I like to have a structure where you've got the length of the hair, which is just longer there, and it goes into the neck. And that's how we're going to work. We go all the way up like that. So let me do that like this. So you can see and you can start seeing that's taking a nice shape. 
So it's really, really just going into the neck. So you can see the difference there. Have a look at that one that's done. And then you look at the other side. Look at the weight there. And now I'm going to incorporate all of that. I'm going to follow it through. And this is your scissor over comb. Remember not to go too high on the crown area, just below the crown. You need to keep some length there because you need to make sure that it doesn't stick up. You can always take a little bit more off at the end. You'll see if it's right. And I, I think most of the time when you're doing scissor over comb, the thing to remember is that you put your teeth in and it comes to you. So by doing that, you're creating the shorter length there and that top bit, because you're coming it to you, you're not taking as much. If you're gonna go in like this, you're gonna take all of that off. No different if you put in a clipper guard and you go straight in instead of carrying it around. So can you see as I'm, as I'm getting to the, um, just below the crown, on the occipital bone, I'm really bringing that round now because I really don't want to go short. If I was to do that, I'll be taking all of this off and we don't want to do that. So what I'm doing is looking at where the shortest hair is. Teeth go in, curve to you, and then I'm blending it in. So if I was to go in like that now, there's just a section just there. I'll go in like that and I see it just there and I take that off with my scissor over comb and that's now gone. Then you take a step back to look for shadows, look at the guideline you've done, any section that has a shadow you go over it and the secret is teeth in to you, snip away teeth thin to you, snip away. And remember that technique, keep practicing that technique and it just would sink in. So we're gonna follow it through around the ear now. Come it down, have a look how the hair sits. Take the ear, pull it back, so you're just bringing that back there so it's out of the way. And then you carefully just go around and then you have a look and see where it sits. Another couple of mil. And you keep combing it down until you're happy with the way it sits. Then you get the section behind the ear so the ear goes down. You use your right hand to comb that hair. And then you go in with your scissors and you follow that hairline. And then you create a nice shape. Comb that back to have a look and see how it sits. If you're happy with that, then you leave it at that. We're ready to incorporate the section just by the ear into the neck. Teeth go in, remember this technique, and then the teeth come to you. You already created your guideline, and the way to remember is that as you go in, hair falls down, and as it falls down, you can cut away. And eventually in time, you will get faster. You just keep practicing. And as we follow through, and you get to behind the ear, pull the ear back, comb the hair forward to have a look how it sits. Teeth go in, and again to you, and you follow that down. So now we've got an array of guidelines to go. We've got just on the nape, we've got around the ear, and we've got the clumpiness at the back. What I was talking to you before, you don't want to go too short, but you don't want to leave it too long. Um, there's a, a variation of doing this. You can either do your runways and go down, or you follow it through with your scissor and comb. And again, ear goes out the way, now this time, your teeth will go in, so they're not going in sort of straight, and to you, you're going working sideways. So elbow into your waist, and then you put your teeth in to you, bring it out, you can actually create a bit of uh, tension on just the back of the comb with contact, and then you can bring it that way, 
or there's your guideline just there. You go in, you've got your guideline there, guideline there, and you know you've got to just take that bit off because you've got your guidelines. And then as you go through all the way around, you follow the guidelines through that way. Once you've done that, you blend the rest in, making sure that you've got the head positioned in the correct poise, which is chin down, stretching the muscle on the neck. And you work through until you are happy with the blend. Now I'm using a selection of combs. This is your barber comb. Uh, and then to finish off on the nape, because it's really, really short, I like to use this comb. And again, it's all about the teeth. You've got selection of very fine, thin space to a wider space. Uh, and that creates an array of techniques. So you comb it down, and I can see just a shadow there. So I'm gonna go in with my white teeth, just take it up just slightly. So I want to remove that and then I'll go in with my narrow teeth and then work just a little bit at a time to eliminate any shadows that I can see to make sure that you're happy with. Now the um, secret to scissor over comb is to actually really get used to doing it quite quickly. To start with, you're gonna be slow, you're gonna just go in slowly and that's fine. And then eventually you'll just flow through. It flows together, the scissors open and close and the comb goes in to you. Using both teeth. You can go as close as you like. Now if the hair's growing up, which it is there, you go with your comb, you go in the opposite to the growth. Because if you go in like that, you can't catch enough of it to cut it and it's still long. So if you go in like that, you can actually do all of that. So after you've worked through and blended the back to the sides, we're going to work on the crown. The crown is really important because you don't want to go too short, you don't want to get too long. Um, so what I tend to do is do my section just on the crown there and then have a look, a little shake of it to see how it sits. So then we work it out that it sits just below there. So I want to take just to there. Now remember when hair is wet, it's that little bit more stretchy and so you need to take that to factor in. The top we will section into a horseshoe shape. Put that out of the way. And then we can start working with your runways because we're going to layer the top. So you've got your first runway there starting. You can see where we worked and you can see the length and we decided that we were gonna take probably that much. And then you just go up at an angle. Comb it down, have a look and see where it's gone. I'm more than happy with that sitting there because we're gonna point into that at the end. And we're gonna work our way through. Now remember, when you do sections like this with your runway, you've created your guideline, you take half, you take section, and then you follow it all the way through. So you take half to the side, move that out of the way, another runway, nice and neat sections, elbow up to the ceiling, there's your guideline there, take it up. And then always check to see how it sits. You can see that beautiful flow that's going through now. And that is what makes it magic. Now then, on the top here, just on the section here, we've got some lovely thick hair to, to work with. Um, and as we, we go around, we, we've got to be really careful because sometimes you'll cut into that and then it'll just stick out everywhere. Bring the flow, make sure it flows through. So don't get too complacent by not dropping half, picking up half. 
it's the way forward for it. So I've dropped half to the side. My guide is just there. I pick a new section up. Now this time, my position is my elbow is in my waist. And I would like to incorporate this guideline that I've got here, just there. And then this is the bit that we want to cut. Make sure that you've got the tautness there that you need. And then you go in. Drop half. Move the other half to this side. Section. Move that out the way. Make sure your hair is wet. It's easier for you to manage and handle. You can see your guideline where it is. And off I go. So the way that we um, have a look and see is because you probably think, well, how do I know where I've got to cut next? Well, you've got a guideline just there from the short guideline. And then you've got a guideline that you just dropped, which is just there. And that's where you take it forward. As you get close to the um, temple section here, so just up here, we comb it through it forward and then we follow that hair line. And then just keep combing the hair to see how it sits. So now I've done all of that and I've got my guideline. I just want to see by checking it if I'm happy with it. And this I can do with my scissor over comb. So I'll go in and to you, working with the um, hairline just there. So you start from there and that gives you a good indication and you bring it out just to have a look. So then I'm gonna have a look and see how it sits. You just give it a good shake. Lovely. Right, so you've got your guidelines and we're gonna work forward. Now this section here, it's got a lot of lift. If I was to go too short, that would end up sticking up. And that's what we really don't want to do. So we're going to make sure that we follow that through to the runways that we just did. Um, but only take a small amount and that's just about it because the lift is going to be there. Then we're going to point in and by pointing in you create that extra sort of um, feathering that's needed but not a great deal of hair removed. Because with this type of hair we don't want it to be uh, volumized even more. So when you're working through you're just sort of teasing the hair to see how it sits, give it a shake and you can get a good indication of the way that it looks and then when you're happy with it you move to the next section. Now we work our way forward, we've got the garland at the back, we know how much to take guideline is just literally here and then we part it so now I've got a guideline for the side so I'm now meeting this guideline to this guideline and that's how we connect and the same goes all the way forward. So we're gonna work um, our way forward and then we are going to incorporate the fringe. So with the fringe, you go back down to see how it sits, how thick it is, the way that it moves. And we've already sort of had the brief that we're going to take this section back. So we don't want it too short because it needs to flow going back. I um, incorporate the fringe by 
doing the runways but forward because this way I will get an indication so I want it to be sort of it sits like that so you do your runway really important to remember to work with your runways you've got the guideline just on the crown lift the hair up And there you go. You've got your guideline there, you've got your guideline there. And then you follow through. And we'll go this side. coming to the end of the haircut now so it's just a matter of tidying up and framing your work so we've got a, a trimmer comb the hair forward just on the nape to have a look and curl it back around the ear pull the ear back pull the ear forward curl any hair down and then follow the guideline of the hair Go. So once you've done your haircut and you're happy with that and you have a look and see where it needs just slight bulkness removed then you do the same sort of techniques, push the hair out of the way, bring up a section and then you do some pointing in. And this is pointing in. And that just removes that slight bulk. So it's creating slight V's. If you would like to gain the skills for a perfect haircut, subscribe for a future tutorial.